Hello and welcome to Hacking Essentials Network and Vulnerability Scan Course. SynScan is the default and the most popular scan option for good reasons. You send a SYN packet, as if you're going to open a real connection, and then wait for a response. A SYNAC indicates the port is listening, or open, while a wrist, reset, is indicative of a non-listener. If no response is received after several retransmissions, or an ICMP unreachable error is received, the port is marked as filtered. If you receive a SYNAC from the target system, you send wrist instead of the ACK packet, and you do not complete the three-way handshake. Okay, so let's perform an NMAP SYN scan in our virtual network. Go to Kali and open the terminal screen. First, let's look at the IP address of Kali to understand the IP block. Here, my IP block is 172.16.99. This is because the net mask is 255.255.255.0. I, I, I don't want to go further into network basics in this course. You know what? Okay, fine. I'm going to add an IPv4 document to the course resources. You can look it up there. Now, let's create the SYNSCAN command. NMAP is the command itself. S capital S is to SYNSCAN. Since it's the default scan type for privileged users, and I'm already a privileged user in Kali, this parameter is not necessary for a SYNSCAN. Now, here is the target IP block, 172.16.99.024. As we talked about before, remember, this is the IP address block from 172.16.99.0 right the way through 172.16.99.255. And let's give it a fast scan for just the top 50 ports. I use top ports parameter for this purpose and hit enter. Now let's look at the scan results. Here we have the computers who have the IP addresses 172.16.99.1 and 2. These are the gateway and the DNS server for my virtual network, VMNet. Ignore them for now. In fact, one is my host machine at the same time. Here there is a system, and the open ports are in the top 50. Well, look, there's another machine, and of course, it's open ports. The machine with IP254 is the DHCP server of my VimNet, so ignore that as well. And the last machine found is the Kali itself. Okay, let's open Wireshark and see what's happening when a SYN scan is performed. Run Wireshark first. Double-click ETH0 to start to listen to that interface. Now, to skip the packets, which we are not interested in, I add a filter. I only want to see the traffic for my destination computer, 172.16.99.139. And I want to see the TCP traffic only. Click the blue arrow next to the filter bar to activate the filter. OK, now go to the terminal screen. I'd like to analyze the SYNSCAN packets for an open port first. 172.16.99.139 is my destination system. And I know that port 80 of that system is open. Hit Enter and run the NMAP query. Yep, the port is open, just as I remember. So now go back to Wireshark. I want to stop Wireshark by clicking the red square at the upper left corner to avoid unwanted packets. So here we have three packets. The first packet is from an arbitrary port of Kali to the 80th port of the system 139, the destination system. It is a SYN packet to start the three-way handshake. The second packet is a SYN ACK sent by the destination system. The third packet is a wrist sent by Kali. Because it's a SYN scan, the three-way handshake is not completed and corrupted by a wrist packet. Now I restart the Wireshark packet capturing to clean its screen by clicking the upper left blue button. Okay, so this time I scan a closed port, for example, port 81. Now the first packet is a SYN scan packet to start the three-way handshake again. The source system is Kali, and the destination system is, again, 139. The second packet is, for this scan, a wrist packet. Because port 81 is closed, 
the destination system sent us a wrist packet. Let's see how Nmap interprets the results of SynScan. When we send a Syn packet, the destination system replies a Syn ACK packet to show that it's ready for a connection. And we send wrist to corrupt the handshake. Nmap interprets this result as the port is open. If the destination system replies a wrist packet for our SYN packet, that means the port is accessible, but it's closed. If the destination system doesn't respond to our SYN packet, Nmap thinks that the packet is dropped or filtered. It's a common behavior of the firewalls. If the destination system replies an ICMP unreachable packet for our SYN packet, again, it's interpreted as filtered. This is another type of firewall behavior. 